In this lecture, we'll be discussing how to divide polynomials using synthetic division. Now we'll consider both linear factors as well as quadratic factors. Now first we'll begin with linear factors. Now suppose I need to divide ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d with x minus alpha. Now for your linear factor, the coefficient of x must be 1. And for x minus alpha, its root will be x equals alpha. So now what I'll do is I'll draw two lines. I'll write alpha on the left of this line and on the right hand side I'll write the coefficients of x in order a, b, c and d. Now we'll always put 0 beneath the leading coefficient. So right below a I'll put 0 and then I'll add them up. So then it'll be a. Now I'll multiply this a with alpha and I'll put the result below B, so which is A alpha. Now, I'll add them. So now I'll get A alpha plus B. Now again, I'll multiply alpha with A alpha plus B and then I'll put the result there and we'll continue to do that till we get the last term. Now say for example, suppose I have to divide x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6 with x minus 2. So coefficient of x is 1 and the root is 2. So I'll draw two lines. I'll write 2 here and then I'll write the coefficients 1, minus 6, 11 and minus 6. Now right below 1 I'll write 0. Now I'll add them. So 1 plus 0 is 1. Now I'll multiply 1 with 2 and I'll put the result there which is 2. So now I'll add them. So minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4. Now I'll multiply 2 with minus 4. I'll get minus 8. I'll add them. I'll get 3. And now I'll multiply 3 with 2, I'll get 6 and I'll add them, I'll get this result as 0. Now this is my remainder, that's the quotient. So I can write this, so this is coefficient of x square, so this is x square, now minus 4 is coefficient of x, minus 4x and then this is 3 and remainder is 0. So I can express x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6 as divisor which is x minus 2 into quotient which is x square minus 4x plus 3. Now because the remainder is 0 that means x minus 2 is a factor of x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6. Now we will come to how to divide a polynomial with a quadratic factor. Now for this quadratic factor, again the coefficient of x square should be 1. Now for the coefficients p and q, I'll take up their conjugates, so which is minus p and minus q. So now I'll draw these lines. I'll write the coefficients of the factor, which is minus p and minus q. And on the right, I'll write, I'll write coefficients of the polynomial. Now the first thing that we need to do is, I'll put three zeros. I'll put a zero here, I'll put a zero here and I'll put a 0 here. So now I'll add them. I'll get a here. I'll multiply this a with minus p and I'll put the result here. So I'll get minus a into p and I'll multiply a with minus q and I'll put the result there. So I'll put this as minus a q. So again I'll add it so I'll get b minus a p and here I'll get c minus a q. 
Now again, I'll multiply minus P with this and I'll put the result here and I'll multiply minus Q with it and I'll put the result there and then again, I'll add them. Now this is how we do synthetic division for quadratic factors. I'll take up an example. Suppose we want to divide x to the power 4 plus 4x cube plus x minus 10 with x square plus 3x minus 5. Now, I'll take the conjugate of option, so I'll write minus 3 and for this one, I'll write plus 5. I'll draw the lines. And then, I'll write the coefficients. So this is minus 3 and 5 and the coefficients of x are x to the power 4, coefficient is 1, 4x cube, coefficient is 4. Now there is no x square term, so I need to put 0 also. And then it is 1 and then minus 10. So first I'll put 3 zeros, 0, 0 and 0. Now if I add them, I'll get this result as 1. Now I'll multiply this 1 with minus 3. And I'll put the result here, so which is minus 3. And I'll multiply this one with 5. And I'll put the result there as 5. So now I'll add them. So 4 minus 3 is 1. And 0 plus 5 is 5. Now again, I'll multiply this minus 3 with 1. I'll put the result here. So which again is minus 3 and I'll multiply this 5 and I'll put the result there. So which is plus 5. So again I'll add them up. So 5 minus 3 is 2 and 1 plus 5 is 6. Now again minus 3 into 2. So minus 3 into 2 is minus 6. So I'll put it there. And 5 into 2 is 10. So I'll put it there. So plus 6 minus 6 it's 0 and plus 10 minus 10 is 0. So the remainder of this polynomial is 0x plus 0. So remainder is 0 and the quotient is x square plus x plus 2. So I can write as x to the power 4 plus 4x cube plus x minus 10 is equal to divisor which is x square plus 3x minus 5 into x square plus x plus 2 and plus remainder which is 0.